Hi everyone, I'm Axel Soyer, uh, one of the managers of uh, ID, which is an engineering company taking part into the Brazzavis project. Uh, we were involved in the Brazzavis project as uh, engineering specialists, and in particular, our mission was to uh, tweak an existing production line uh, located at Delfrion and to uh, transform some of this production line in order to be able to produce a new type of face mask. Uh, I wanted to share with you some lessons that uh, we've learned from, from this experience because I remind you the main target was to be able to repurpose existing manufacturing line to produce emergency products. This was the aim of the project within 48 hours uh, ready for, for production. The main lessons that I have to, to remind is uh, that tweaking uh, the line at the end of the process, so after we made all the tests and engineering, could go even much faster between this result, so less than two hours, and the first attempts. There has been, of course, a lot of trials and error, and a lot of engineering. So uh, the first lesson is that, of course, uh, it does not go in, in one single click like this. Uh, you have to think a lot, especially if you start on an existing production line. Second lesson uh, we have to remember is, of course, the existing situation and starting limit. Uh, we had here to work on an existing production line which we did not design and which was not foreseen right from the beginning to be able to uh, adapt to various types of products. So, of course, the bigger the gap is, the more difficult it will be. Imagine uh, if you have a car factory, uh, it's quite hard to tweak it very easily uh, to build planes. That's as easy as that. It sounds quite obvious what I'm saying here, but this is one of the key points is that the starting point is you have to see the limits. The second uh, lesson uh, we have to keep in mind, uh, especially when you go in robotics installation and so on, it's that you have physical limits. Uh, typically the jaws, the grippers that we use, unfortunately up to today there is no possibility to have a universal uh, global uh, type of gripper and so of course you always have to adapt it to the kind of part you have to move and uh, the bigger the size differences are uh, the more uh, it, it will be it will be difficult here already with the face mask example we had already quite, uh, issues that, that we have to solve due to the difference of thickness uh, within uh, within the mask and this took uh, quite a lot of, uh, of time to, to solve third element uh, I want you to remember is that of course the world is changing very fast, technologies evolve quite fast and so when you start from scratch and you have to design a new production line or quality control line, uh, of course we have today much more tools at disposal than what we had uh, a few years ago. Uh, the key is that when you start the engineering is that you have to think about agile engineering and thinking right from the start, okay, should my production line, my production tool uh, evolve over time and where could it go to? The better you do this at the beginning, the easier it will be to tweak uh, uh, a production line.